Good afternoon. Welcome to another teaching in social studies for GSS2. This time around, we are looking at the topic finding F. Finding F. That's the topic we are looking at this afternoon. The objective of this topic, first of all, you should be able to explain what we mean by finding F. Then you should be able to describe situation when people need help, as well as people that you can approach for help. In this first series, I will be explaining the meaning of finding help. Finding help means providing or seeking assistance in order to solve a problem. If parents cannot help in certain situations, Young people can seek help somewhere else. You will agree with me as an individual that there are times whereby we need help. In today's world, that bullying is nearly taking up the society. Our children need help in order for them to be self-reliant, in order for them to be assertive. And if they don't open up, they can't get that help. So as learners, we want us to know that we need help in certain situations so that our studies can go smoothly. So that is the reason why we say finding help means providing or seeking assistance in order to solve a problem. Now, sometimes our parents are busy they are not always there for us. So if our parents cannot help in certain situation, so young people can seek help somewhere else. For example, depending on where the situation meets you. Now let us look at situations when people need help. For instance, when somebody is not feeling fine, when you are ill, sometimes maybe due to poverty, Sometimes, maybe due to bullying, loss of personal terms, emotional upheavals, fire accidents, educational related problem. Maybe you are looking for how to pass an examination. In these situations, people need help. Just imagine a learner not feeling fine. Such a, a learner will not be able to do much except help comes to such a learner. And it is when that learner is able to get better that he or she can learn. So in that situation, that learner needs somebody to assist. Then maybe you lack money for your education or you lack money to spend in school. You need help. Also, maybe somebody is bullying you. You need help to stop that person from bullying you. Then maybe you lost any of your personal items. You need help to recover it. Then maybe somebody is abusing you emotionally. You need help to overcome. And maybe, maybe uh, something happened and there is fire accident. You need to shout for help. Then you want to pass your exam. Maybe you are scared of your promotion exam. You need help. So these are situations that cause for help. Now, who are the people we can approach for help? The first is our parents. We should not be afraid to open up to our parents whenever we need help. Also, our guardians. Our guardians are there, maybe our uncles, maybe our rela relations. Maybe our parents are not in the country, or maybe we have even lost our parents. So you need your guardian to assist you. Anybody that can stand like a parent for you can assist you. Then our family relations, maybe our extended family, they can as well render help. Then our teachers as well are there for us to meet for help depending on the situation. Then our religious leaders, 
in our various worship centers. We can approach our religious leaders for help. Then health practitioners, maybe depending on the nature of the help that you need, maybe it has to do with health. We can meet any health practitioner, maybe a doctor, maybe a social worker, maybe a nurse. They can assist help. Then trusted, experienced adults, an adult that is an experienced person, can as well render help. There could be law enforcement agents, maybe police. You can approach them, and that's why we have police station in all our community. Whenever we need help, we can visit them and complain, and thereby they can render help. Then we have our counselors. For example, in our schools, we have counselors. We can as well approach the counselor, tell them our problem. They can as well help. And take note that whatever you discuss with the counselor remains with the counselor. They keep our secrets. Then, social worker. Social worker is someone whose work is to help improve bad social conditions and people, and help people. These are people that we can approach when we need help. Now, we want to look at skills that are necessary when seeking help. Now, anytime you need help, there are skills that you need because these skills will help you to be able to get the help that you need. Number one is good communication skills. Ability to explain the problem very well. You need to be able to express yourself. You need to be able to let them know exactly what the problem is. If you are unable to express yourself, it will be difficult for you to get help. Then you need to be assertive. That is, willingness to explain the issue until you find someone who will listen to you. You must stand your ground. You must be assertive. Say it the way it is, and they will understand you. Then we need counseling. Counseling, willingness to seek advice from a professional. When you need help, this is a skill that you need to develop and have. Then you need to follow up. That is, ability to take action on what to be done to solve the problem. When you see a counselor, a counselor will tell you some things that you need to do. So when the counselor explains steps for you to take, you should be ready to take to those steps. And we, by that, you need to follow up until you get a solution to your problem. So, we have been able to see the meaning of finding help. We have been able to see situation whereby you need help. And as well, you have been able to see people you can meet for help. And you have seen skills. So in the next series, we shall be continuing from here. Thank you.